Hey guys, it's me, Somber Sauceress. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a video um, where I'm going to be washing my hair, um, doing makeup, and um, actually styling my hair. I'm just going to be um, filming it and walking you through it. So, um, I hope you enjoy, and here goes. Today is hair washing day. Um, if you ask how I wash my hair when my hair is braided up like this, um, this is how we all do it. It's the big secret of the blacks. Um, it's actually a shampoo um, in like spray form. Uh, this is um, African Pride Spray On Braid Shampoo. Um, it kind of helps, you know, condition the braids and keeps your hair from looking all crazy. Um, so basically, all this is is just shampoo and water uh, mixed together so it can actually spray in your hair. Um, then you would just like massage it in and then wash it out in the shower. So I just wanted to share this with you before I actually did it. So I would just, um, you know, comb it out. And I'm just going to start spraying. And what I did was um, actually mix some of my Motions um, C uh, CPR um, shampoo in this and kind of watered it down a little bit more just so I could have a little bit of this stuff in here because I know my hair likes it a lot so um, they don't actually have this in braid form so I just put this in there and also if you don't want to go out and get this all you have to do is just get your shampoo that you already have and just mix some water in it um, I'll put um, just a little bit of shampoo and mix it in to kind of slowly add it in there just so it's not too thick because if it's too thick it won't spray so um, you kind of have to play with it a little bit uh, but mostly it is water so and I did do that, and hopefully, yeah, it still sprays. So I'm just going to just spray it in my scalp. Um, and just kind of massage it in. Or if you don't want to do this, you can do dry shampoo. I don't prefer it. Um, I've tried that one time before, and I swear I couldn't get it out. And my hair was just tingling for days. It was weird. So I'm just going to do this. This might take a while. Okay, and now that I have it all in the back, I'm going to put a little bit more in the front around the edges. And I'm just going to massage it just to make sure, you know, all the dirt and whatever gets loosened up. And if it gets on your hair, that's fine, but we're mostly just um, focusing on the actual scalp. We put as much as you please in there. And me, I would do this at least twice. I always wash my hair at least twice because the first wash um, is to actually get rid of the dirt and rinse it off. And then the second wash is to actually cleanse the scalp. Just like when you were washing your face. So I'm just going to a little bit more. Try to get into every nook and cranny of this hair. I know this is weird, isn't it? But yet we go through this every couple times a month. So this is how I wash my hair when my hair is in braids. Right? <clears throat> so now I'm going to actually rinse this stuff out and I'll be right back. Hey guys, my hair is finally washed. Um, I wrapped it up in my little um, towel up thingy. Um, it actually has hair. It's kind of sticking out a little bit, but that's fine. It's going to dry. Um, I, it's soaking wet, so I don't know how long it'll take to dry. Um, but while we're waiting for it to dry, um, I'm going to do my, uh, my makeup. So um, I'm thinking for today something simple. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Hip um, Duo in Electrified. Um, has a purple and a really nice taupe. So we're going to use that. 
and the Wet n Wild Lust and using this as a highlight, the matte um, tan shade. And for blush, I am going to use keep it natural today. I'm going to use my Soft Sable in my Mary Kate palette. And for lips, I'm going to use my um, Elf Mineral um, Lip Gloss in Trendsetter. Uh, this is very close to the Urban Decay um, Lip Junkie in Nude. So if you didn't want to spend um, about 20 bucks on that lip on that lip gloss then this is only like three bucks it's very close this is a little bit more opaque than the, this is a little more um, kind of uh, sheer so uh, if you want just a little bit of color then this is um, the lip gloss for you um, it goes on very smooth love it lasts a long time all right I'm gonna prime my eye with Urban Decay primer potion and sin using my um, elf compact uh, mirror This will help our shadow last all day. There's a plan on going to the park with the kids. And I don't want to sweat it off. Okay. All right, and now um, I'm gonna be using four brushes: um, Elf brush, um, a Coastal Sense um, blending brush, a um, Target crease brush, and a Coastal Sense uh, large eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna be using my Elf uh, makeup lock and seal. A little bit in this. About two, three drops. I'm going to dip my brush in it. I'm going to go into the lightest color. I'm going to put it all over my lid. Um, I decided to use it wet just so it um, shows up a little bit better on my eye. I'm going to put a little bit more, and I'm going to um, wet the other side of the brush to do the other eye. You don't really need a lot of this at all.
okay? Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the darker like plum shade and I'm going to be using um, my Coastal Scents blending brush. And I'm going to put it in the crease. So it's just going to add just a little depth to the eye. Now this brush just picks up just a little bit of color, which is what I want. And put a little bit on the outer third of the eye and kind of build the color up. This is a really pretty duo. So, um, this is a drugstore brand, um, L'Oreal Hip. Um, if you want um, to go um, get one yourself, uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere. Um, I got mine at Walmart for like seven or eight bucks. Um, it's a little pricey, but I think they are um, a little bit worth it. Um, I don't know if I'd really want to spend that much because you can get it on eBay for about half the price. And do the other eye. I'm just going to do a windshot, a windshield wiper motion. Okay, then I'm going to go back in into the same uh, purple color, but I'm going to use this brush because it's a little bit more denser. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more color. And I got this brush at Target for like three bucks, and it's really good. Um, it sheds a little bit, um, but other than that, I mean, it doesn't shed that much. Concentrate a little bit more on the outer V area. Not even going all the way in, just making a V shape. Just to darken up the, the ends. Do the other eye. And like I said, just focus on just the outer V part. Don't even go all the way in. I'm just going to darken up the edges. Put a little bit on the outer third. Okay, now this is going to sound strange, but we're going to go back into um, the lighter color um, with this blending brush, and we're going to try to uh, make the colors look seamless. And it's not going to pick up that much of the color. So we're just going to kind of put that in the crease and on the lid just to have it blend in a little bit more. lashes in my eye. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it looks pretty good to me. Okay, we're going to even out the edges a little bit. But other than that, um, it's fine. 
And now we are going to add the highlight. Oh, I'm sweating. I just got out of the shower. It's hot as hell in this bathroom. Okay, we're going to be taking this uh, Lust palette or whatever um, highlight you want to use. I'm going to go in with my large eyeshadow brush. I love this brush. It's like my new favorite. Um, it doesn't really shed that much at all. Um, I'm going to buy some more Coastal Sense brushes in the future. Just um, get a little bit of that. It's like a flesh tone. I cannot find my other small little circular mirror. So I'm just using this one. And just pat it on the, um, the brow bone. I don't really have an arch per se. So I don't have people say you put it in the arch. Um, but my eyebrows are pretty natural. I don't plan on plucking them or anything unnatural to them. I like them the way they are. A lot of people say that I look like I have my eyebrows plucked because the way they look. Um, but I haven't. Um, to get a little bit more of this color, I put it on the other eye. And this brush picks up a lot of color. And um, Wet n Wild is very pigmented. So you have to watch how you dip your brush in. Just pat it on the brow bone. Or underneath the eyebrow. And then we're going to go in and blend it out, just so it's seamless. I'm using circular motions. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is, I'm going to line on the bottom of my eyes. I'll be right back. Take a little bit more sealant. Um, I have my smudge brush from e.l.f. I'm going to dip a little bit of it in the solution. And I'm going to put it in that purple. And I'm going to um, line the bottom um, lash line with it. Okay. I'm going to dip a little bit more in. I'm wiping off. Excess. And this is a really great product. Do the other eye now. Okay, and this was three bucks from Elf, and also comes with the little um, mixing pot. Put my glasses on. Now I'm just going to um, put my lip gloss on. Again, this is called Trendsetter. I'm going to be using two different brushes, uh, my Mary Kay blush brush, and then I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Um, complexion brush. Okay, I'm going to dip into Soft Sable, which is this right here. Okay, 
cap off the excess. I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, I'm going to go back in to the same color and get this brush. Just tap into it just a little bit and just the cheekbone side. I'm going to fix my eyeshadow uh, so that it lines up with my um, my eyebrows. I'm going to use this um, Equate brand, um, which is like the knockoff. And I just dropped that. Jesus. I won't drop it this time. Okay. This is the off brand to um, the Neutrogena Oil Free. And gets off all your makeup, even the waterproof kind. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to tame my eyebrows. I'm going to blend out my blush just a little bit more. Okay, and that is my look for today. Uh, I'm going to be waiting for my hair to dry, and then I will style it, and I'll get right back with you. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, my hair is um, pretty much dry, but it's just damp at the ends, but that's fine. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do with, to, uh, do with it today. I um, <clears throat> kind of want to wear it down. Let's see. I'm usually always wearing my hair up. Okay, I'm just going to wear my hair like this. Um, it's just a little bit of like a basket weaving effect. Um, I will show you how to do it. First you have your hair parted down the middle. And what we're going to do is, it's very easy. I'm just going to get one section, pull it over this way. Get the next section, pull it over this way. And hold it down. If you want it, you can leave it like this. Or you can do what I'm doing and just getting the next section over and holding that down. And putting this over here, meaning the next section, and crisscrossing it over this way. And that's how I'm going to wear my hair today. So thanks for watching um, the washing of my hair, um, the makeup tutorial, and the semi-hair tutorial. Um, so thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.